Alright, so I'm not a professional vlogger, but I might give you a run, you know, so you believe that I am. Um, I'm right now in Washington, D.C. This is my East Coast trip vlog. My videographer guy says that I gotta film more, and so that's what I'm doing, right? But I'm about to show you what it's like to now, when you can really have a business and people around the world that you are aligned with in your purpose, right? What that can actually look like. So I'm gonna do my best to vlog. I don't always have my phone out, but you're about to see a bit more of what it's like to now tear it up on the East Coast and really build community. All right, peace. Yeah, cause I'm running, I'm running, I'm running away. I'm running away, I'm running away. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking for space. Look at my space, look at my space. I'm healing, I'm healing from all of the pain. All of the pain, all of the pain. I'm running, I'm running, I'm running away. But wait, there's more. Jude, what do you think so far? We out here. Who I found? My boy Izana. What did you used to do here? So we're we're coming up to the White House here. You used to perform here, right? Yeah, I used to just be like, you know, reclaiming my energy from the powers that be and just speaking out, using spoken word to say, you know, government doesn't have control over my life. Did they listen to you? It was just a bunch of, uh, you're gonna see them. They're gonna be just a bunch of tourists and there's just gonna be a bunch of Chinese spies and tourists. Nothing, nothing but Chinese spies and tourists only. Dude, we got Yo. Ali. What's up? What's up? Hey, no thank you. This guy trying to give me a prayer bracelet. I'm good. What up, dude? What's your, what's your words of wisdom, bro? What's up, everybody? Um, just be a student. Always be a student. Learn as much as you can and you'll be great. Hey. All right, much more to come. So we just are right in the midst of the clubhouse. What up? And uh, all right, so I'm chatting with Yusuf here, right? The legendary. Legend. And can can you explain this phenomena to me that you just explained of like the difference between the East Coast and New York, New Jersey area specifically? Sure. So what I what I was sharing with Mitch was that. I noticed when I moved here, um, I began to think, move, and just act significantly different than I did uh, when I was previously in Florida. So like my brother, I'm originally from Philadelphia, but I was in Florida and my brother came to visit one time and he was just like, yo, you never used to walk this fast. I'm walking like 10 paces ahead of you. And uh, so what I came to conclude uh, over time was just that people in New York or just large cities in general, they tend to process things intellectually, emotionally, and otherwise at a much faster rate and a much faster frequency than people who live in less populated areas or rural areas. Yeah. So for example, like I live in Manhattan, just walking down to the train station, I have to process, is something a threat to me? What is, is there shit on the ground that I have to avoid? Uh, is there a car coming? Is the light so like a hundred sounds, billboards, everything. Right. Yeah. The average person, they just come out of their house and just walk to their car and then drive to work. Where here in New York, you're just navigating through this, this, uh, this, just see of like information exactly you constantly <laughs> yeah. having to process it yeah so, that's cool though yeah because i see that like that's what i was saying i like doing business out here because people here are just like to the point and like move fast whereas other places people are a bit more like soft and like you know willing to just procrastinate and take their time yeah. for here it's like yo we just move it, so. yeah. Yeah. cool thanks man <laughs> what do we got here hey What's and we got on, the whole crew, right? All right, uh, all right, bro. <laughs> Tell us. What's going on? What's Give going us some on? words of wisdom. What I would say is get techno tutors. And the reason why I say get techno tutors is because it's the only tool that will allow you to program your unconscious mind. And when you think about it, your unconscious mind is what's running your life 95% of the day. You know, so if you're running a program 95% of the day, you want to make sure it's the right programming so you can be as effective as possible. All right, so that's what I have to say for for today. <laughs> that's great, man. Wow. Yeah. I mean, it's spot on, right? Yeah. And if you think your unconscious programming doesn't run your life, that just shows you to the extent of how much you've been programmed, right? Exactly. So you got to be honest about it, that's and true. then you can change. Self-honesty. So, yeah, you know, it's the self-honesty is the key. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. All right, well, we're going here. We're going to get a group photo. So that'll be cool. It's not raining right now. That's nice. All right, see you, everyone. See you. Yankee 
Just ate some Ethiopian food. What do you think, dude? What did you learn from day one, bro? Day one, community is key. Why? Major key, because these in-person meetups allow you to go deep. Hey, deep, deep, deep. Deeper than Zoom could ever do. All right, Ali, what about you, bro? Yo, what's up? Um, what I've learned is to really get clear on where I, where I have to go, and what I have to do, especially things I have to work on in my personal life to really help me, to really help propel me to the next level. Woo! These guys making some moves. Well, overall, awesome day. Signing off for tonight. Nothing beats in person, man. Nothing beats in person. Like, I've had Zoom calls, phone calls with these guys for a long time. And just in person, from 4 p.m. to, what is it, 11 p.m. right now. Not that much time. We went deeper than you could ever go on Zoom. So, shout out to meeting in person. And uh, shout out to a community that we have. Because it keeps growing with some awesome people. Big day tomorrow, so I'm going to get some rest. All right. Cheers. You don't ever want to stop. Yeah, you have me kicking rocks. Just leave me alone for